Hello, I'm Tony Goldwyn, and I'm here in Philadelphia standing in the assembly room of Independence Hall. You know, it's hard to believe, but this relatively small room is the birthplace of our great nation. The year was 1776. It was hot, and not just the weather. These patriots already had started fighting the mightiest empire in the world. This is where they gathered to finally break free and declare that here in America, we must be in control of our own destiny, that we each have an inalienable right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. A few years later, again, right here in this room, our young country drew up the Constitution, the blueprint for the democratic government that's made the United States the greatest country on Earth. The words written here centuries ago give us the freedom to speak our minds, to worship as we choose, and to select our own government. But while our founding documents were powerful, they weren't perfect. Women and African Americans couldn't vote. And not one of the guys gathered in Philadelphia back then could have imagined what you are doing this week. None of them could have imagined a President Barack Obama or a President Hillary Clinton. However, the framers knew that life in their time shouldn't determine life for all time. The future of our country would be up to us. And in each generation, Americans from all walks of life and all ages have stood to perfect the union our framers created. Frederick Douglass, William Lloyd Garrison, and the abolitionists who rid our country of the stain of slavery, the 200 women who gathered in Seneca Falls to demand their right to vote, a seamstress named Rosa Parks, who by sitting down stood up for the unrealized freedoms of millions of African Americans, Latino farm workers who came together in the grape fields of California to secure basic dignity for hard work, and our LGBT brothers and sisters who took a stand at Stonewall so they could be who they are and love who they want. Because of what they did, we are stronger as a nation. We have the talents of all our people to draw on, and it is only by working together and looking out for each other that we will be able to seize the promise of our founders. That's where you come in. Ordinary people are the authors of America's extraordinary story. It's a story of progress and possibility, and what becomes of the next chapter is in your hands. Our nation faces a lot of big challenges, and as history has shown, we will meet them if we are active, engaged, and involved. I want to show you something. This is the chair where George Washington sat during those discussions in 1787. One of its features is this sun. And after the Constitution was finished, Benjamin Franklin turned to his fellow delegates and he said, I have often looked at that behind the president without being able to tell whether it was rising or setting. But now I know that it is a rising sun. That's the story of America. And I ask all of you to do your part to ensure that in all the days that dawn on our land, the principles and values outlined here, freedom, equality, community of all, and opportunity for all, are promises kept for every American. Thank you very much.